That'd be funny if um, when we open that thing, it's like. Yeah, it could. All over the place. Hi, I'm Arthur. And I'm Andrea. And we are Heavy Metal, Metal Beer Club. Club. And this is the Trader Joe's 2019 Vintage Spiced Ale. And uh, I'm just kind of curious out there if uh, serious beer drinkers, do, do, they, do they take some of like, like Trader Joe's brand or uh, Costco, the, the Kirkland brand beer, serious? Because I think Kirkland makes Trader, great beer. I know also. traders, they do. These are good ones, and you're supposed to age them, so we aged this for a year. Okay. I'm just kind of curious. If I don't know. I don't think Kirkland is the most serious ones, but. But they are pretty good. They are good. Yeah, they. I, I like a, a lot of their, their alcohols. Whoa! Oh my gosh. <laughs> and that's why we had this towel here, folks, just in case. <laughs> but it didn't, it didn't pop. They, well, it, it did didn't pop, but it didn't uh, pour all over the place. Yeah. So, so we lucked out, and all I did was twist it. So let's um, do a little taster there. That's uh, that's kind of now, fun, though. Now, did you say the whole name of this beer yet? Well, it's uh, a nine percent alcohol by volume, uh, dark ale brewed uh, with spices. Well, I did say I said dark ale brewed with spices, and it's a, a Belgian style. What's this say on last? It says on Lee's. I don't know on exactly Lee's. what that means. Don't know what that means. But I guess we can. I guess we will. We will find we'll out. That find was. Out. That came out. That came out. Yours came out a bit foamy. Do you want me to drink the foamy one, and you can drink this okay. one. I will be. I will be polite. Okay. That still came out a little bit foamy, but you figure we That's didn't. Okay. We didn't let it sit at all. And cheers. Um, cheers. Right. We can. Um, but yeah, that has. Mm. A nice, nice foam. Look at that. That's it got a nice head on really it. It smells really good. It's uh, dark, very dark color. <laughs> give it a taste. <laughs> give, it, give, give it a taste. You need a mustache. I can't get past the foam. <laughs> but it's um, mm. it's got a nice uh, spicy taste. I like it. I got to mine. Yeah, it has a nice spicy taste. Somewhat barrel, barrel aged, uh, boozy, a little bit uh, bourbon even, right? Like mm -hmm. whiskey, has a uh, whiskey mm -hmm. flavor to it. That's it's, really uh, good. It's a little bit sweet. Yeah, that's tasty. Yeah, it is very now nice. Now I wonder what it would have tasted like if we drank it immediately than if we drank it right now. What, one thing with these beers is they are doing them, they put them out for the holidays. So you buy them for a Christmas gift. I think a friend of ours gave this to us for Christmas. And you know what I was gonna say, the holidays, right? Why do they always make it for them? <laughs> but anyway, inside joke. But one of our friends gave us th this for Christmas, so we said, oh yeah, we'll save it and let it age a little bit, like they told them to at Trader Joe's, and we did, and I think it's really, really good. It is. Look at the top. I mean, yours, uh, actually, as it sits a little bit, it's, I mean, that, Man, that's it very keeps creamy. Foaming. Yeah, yeah, that's very creamy, <laughs> very fine bubbles, almost like it's a nitro, but it's not a nitro. Yeah. And, uh, well, it's usually good. the nitro, you can see it bubbling down under, and it just looks really cool, smooth, like a Guinness. But this, this does look smooth, but not those nitro sort of bubbles but uh yeah we're gonna yeah the spices are nice in it it's not overly spicy just a little bit i love the pumpkin beers that are spicy too but this one is just right yeah so i'd say this is a great holiday beer i was just gonna ask you that how would you would you consider this it, a fall yeah. beer yeah i'd consider it a fall christmas beer even christmas time because it tastes, you know, kind of like the holidays with Christmas, and you could have it with, um, have it at a party or have it with ham and like a yeah, dinner that would pair. Kind of oh, thing. that would be pair really good, really with, good with, with ham and or, that has cloves or in it. Turkey, if you don't eat ham, or, it'd be really good. Yeah, yeah, turkey. It'd be really good with turkey as well. 
I could I could even see having it with some uh, some uh, ahi steaks. Mm -hmm. That'd be really good as well. Ahi steaks. Yes. I love ahi steaks. I couldn't see pairing this with ahi. Steaks. Sure, I could. I would. No doubt about that. What would you say on the tasty meter, which is a one through five? I'd give it a, a four. For you know sure. what? Last few times a we've high been four. Yeah, last few times we've been we've been right there with things. I would I'd give it a four. Also, I would probably like a little bit more of a bourbon taste, but it, it is very smooth. Yeah. And I would I definitely want to drink more of this. I think it's really really good. I love it. That's for sure. I, get, I love it. I wonder, but who doesn't love Trader Joe's? Period. Uh, that's true. Trader Joe's. Yeah, and just in general, who doesn't love Trader Joe's? Yeah, 9%. Yeah, 9% uh, alcohol by volume. So it's uh, it's a kicker for sure. But you know what, even though it tastes boozy, it's not going straight to my, my head. I bet you, uh, but then I, uh, once we finish it and then we stand it's up. All, it's already it's going straight it, to my head. No, it's, gonna, it's gonna make it's going a difference. It's going straight to his head. <laughs> yeah. um, so we are going to also talk about COVID shows to watch on TV and concerts, which I think we did before. Yeah. But. Because we have talked about during this whole COVID thing, we've mentioned different concerts that um, are online. The Monsters of Rock Cruise has been playing some good ones. Yeah, on Facebook Live. And uh, if you're an industrial fan, which I love industrial music, and the, during the, the 90s, that, that was a big thing I was listening to, late 80s, discovering Nine Inch Nails, and then, of course, rediscovering Ministry and Skinny Puppy and uh, KMFDM and a lot of other great industrial bands. But uh, recently on the, the Mort Cruise Live, there was a, a band called Julian K, which was great. They were I think really they're out of Long Beach, which is my hometown. Yeah, they were really good. Long Beach, California. And uh, yeah, the, they, they were great. And it's uh, former members of uh, the band Orgy, which they did a cover of Blue Monday in the 90s. I'm sure uh, music fans out there will remember that. Yeah, and they then, were really good. Oh, with uh, uh, Julian K, the uh, guitar player, Amir. He was in Orgy. Yeah. Yeah. And they do, uh, Julian Kay, on the, the video that we watched, the live. And I kept saying uh, Facebook Live, but it's Facebook Watch. It's, fa but it's actually Facebook Wide. <laughs> it's Facebook Watch. And Julian Kay does a Blue Monday and uh, just tear it up. It's great. He rips it up. Yeah. He, rip he ripped <laughs> Blue Monday a new one. <laughs> it's really good. It and then another one, there's a, a guitar player who has played with Faster Pussycat, Ace. Ace Von Johnson, buddy! Hi, uh, Ace! <laughs> and he's a, a horror fan as well, just like we are. And so, uh, uh, and, and he's playing with LA Guns as well. And so uh, there was just a band called Neon Coven, and we put it on, and I said, hey, that's oh, Ace. They were good. And they were great. Yeah. They were so good. He's had a new haircut. It looks yeah, good. Yeah, he had a new haircut. It looks good. But they, they are fantastic. So if you get a chance, check out Neon Coven. Yeah. Uh, we uh, just stumbled on that. Yeah. I didn't, we didn't know about that. And so we've, of course, gone back and, and looked them up. Yeah. And uh, that's why you should check out all those shows because you don't know, even if you don't recognize the band name, don't say, oh, I'm not going to watch because I don't know who they are. Watch because you might see a new band that you like, just like yeah, we did with Neon and Coven great. and all these bands. And uh, Julian Kay. We didn't say to, Smash the like button, please, because it helps the... Uh, <laughs> you have to like us or, you know. Yeah, yeah, smash the like button, because then that, that helps the well, algorithm. Well, all of our sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that helps the algorithm, so then other people will uh, watch us. And yeah. then uh, also, uh, please subscribe. And I wouldn't say set the bell, because I never set the bell. Set My phone's bell. always going set the bell. Ding. Set the bell. My yeah. phone's always going ding. Your phone's going ding all the time. Sometimes even when we're filming these. Yeah. So. Uh, My phone goes ding dong. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us. Hopefully, uh, you go out and try one of the Trader yep. Joe's beers. So uh, we They'll highly be recommend it. They'll be coming out before long. Yeah. And uh, we, we just stocked up on wine from Trader Joe's as well. Yeah. 
all the different wines they have there. Okay. Well, since we're talking about Trader Joe's, we should bring up uh, our buddy Joel. Yeah, Joel! Yeah, he plays guitar in a local Tucson metal band called Scar Eater. And uh, their uh, last video I, uh, on uh, YouTube, you can look it up. And uh, it, was, it was very cool. Oh, yeah. I love the production on it. Yeah. It's uh, a lot of fun. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Joel. Joel, Joel is rocks. awesome. Yeah, and he's uh, he's a beer connoisseur as well. Yeah, and wine. He likes. Yeah, that. and wine. Yeah. And oh, music. A metal, and fellow metal dude. Yeah, and he he likes a lot of other music the way we do as well. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like soft jazz and whatnot. <laughs> I would say. <laughs> well, I would. I would like to sing you all a good bedtime story, but I won't. Now, please drink <laughs> responsibly, stay safe, and don't forget to stay mental. Yeah. <laughs> and the Twitter. Give me the Twitter. <laughs> Now let me tell you my woes about the COVID. <laughs> Where do I begin? 